So, um, my last video, I did a, a sound clip of the Corsa Ext Extreme Axlebacks. And, um, I have stock cats and stock headers. So they were, they were loud. Um, zero drone on the inside. And I think they were just loud enough. Maybe not to make the neighbors too angry, but for those of you um, that are thinking, I want to get the headers uh, catless or whatever you want to do, you prop maybe you want to go with the Corsa Sports. I think the extremes are perfect for stock. But a thing that I run into a lot, um, there's always a debate: X pipe versus H pipe. Uh, as far as mid pipe, the X flows better. It's called a, some kind of crossover, which makes sense. And the H pipe is just like a, it's a pipe between both of your dual exhaust pipes. Boom. So it, it doesn't flow as well, but it gives you like a deeper tone. The more muscle car could tone, because muscle cars back in the day, they had H pipes. I don't think they really had X pipes. Um, and supposedly the H pipe gives you more low end torque. The X pipe gives you more horsepower. I don't know. Uh, cause these newer Mustangs are getting different dyno results, but I'll show you, this is the pipe that came off the, uh, the stock GT500 exhaust of this year. I got in 2007. It's actually kind of, I mean, it, it is shaped like an X, but see how large it is in the middle. That's what I like to call kind of a scavenger type pipe. And, um, so some of you might think I'm dumb for taking it off cause I, I did read, uh, some postings where Ford went through, I don't know, over a hundred variations to get the sound right on these and to get everything right. And they came up with this specially designed, um, mid pipe, which it's kind of like a cross between an X and an H almost. If, if you look at it, most X pipes, they're just kind of, the, the, the mufflers kind of touch each other in the middle, but this kind of leaves some space. Either way, I still, um, said hey i took it to a specialized muffler shop and i told them to put an h pipe on and they also had to fabricate some additional pipe going from the mufflers to the h pipe which we're going to look at when i get it on the lift because these this h pipe on these gt500s it's very close it's very close to the catalytic converters it's 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 not center it's not really in the it wasn't like a mid pipe it was like towards the back um so it was close to the cats so they had to do some extra pipe i think to get the H pipe in the middle. And also an issue with these Corsa Extreme axle backs, not the cat backs for you, you know, like these older Mustangs, they don't sell the fancy um, double X pipe cat backs, um, just, just the mufflers. And they are kind of a shitty fit. Um, but when you stick them on the, the exhaust hangers, um, they, uh, they don't line up really well. And the one on the driver's side, it's almost totally against the bumper, and I'm like, is it going to melt my bumper? And I went on the passenger side, everyone says hangs down a little low. So anyway, I had the exhaust shop kind of straighten those out, but they had to do some tack welds, supposedly, to straighten them out. Um, so, and these models don't have the quad tips. But anyway, you can't really see because I'm against the garage kind of here, but, um, you know, these are just single tip chrome pipes. Um, Corsa they say on them so pretty nice um here <laughs> all right my previous videos i have a habit of keeping this light on so but anyway also one uh, i one thing um off topic i got this these are called quick jacks i highly recommend i think i spent about two grand on these these are the five ton ones um so basically you can mount, you can hang them on the wall with these hangers. Um, now, for those of you that are up there in age, these are extreme. They're extremely heavy, so it's probably easy. You can keep them on the ground and they slide pretty easy. But if you're going to mount them on the wall, just bear in mind. I mean, I go to the gym like almost every day, and I struggle with them. <laughs> and they come with a bunch of these. Um, and there's a main unit. You just fill it up with hydraulic fluid. And, they come with a bunch of these rubber stops for different sizes. Like if you have a really low car, these are low profile because you got to stick the rubber stops down on here. <sighs> so I'm going to go ahead and uh, lift the car up with my quick jacks and I'm just push the up button. 
Now they say it's a good idea to look, make sure everything's lined up, but um, I've done this a thousand times. All right, I just hope it doesn't hit the garage. So, put some more light on this. So you can see, um, be careful because these do shift the car, not straight up, but they push it back a little. I've done this so many times, um, I've gotten good at doing it with the garage shut because it's early, I have neighbors. And here, you can see they lock into place. You, you shift it down a little and there's like a little groove here. And um, say when I'm ready to raise them, you would just kind of, you would flip this piece up and lower them back. So this just means if the hydraulics fail, you should not get crushed. So let's go under the car. Eh, yeah, and then you got to deal with this kind of stuff. So <laughs> let me move this. Let's see what these guys did. Uh, hopefully they did good. Oh, and it cost me about 600 bucks for this fabrication work. Oh, God. All right, so you can see, can you see, I got the stock cats here. So I got the stock cats here. Oh, wow. So they did do a nice job. You see the fabrication work on this. Um, now they did use aluminized steel in case you're wondering, because they said, I guess it's easier for them to bend. Um, all right, and they got some nice looking welds here, as you can see. There's the H pipe, and the X pipe was way back here, so I can see that. Wow, they, and they must have, um, yeah, those, those aren't too bad wells. That's a little thin here. Uh, I don't think I'm a fan of that. The bends, you see how they're a little thin? Oh, damn it. Okay, but that's all right. Um, and this, this almost looks stuck I guess so um, yeah these you can't even tell maybe they reused the stock pipe and you can see the courses let's go back to the courses uh, now the courses are a little bit here okay they did some tack welds here I guess in a, in order to get them straight but yeah the courses came kind of with this um, here i think that's like they're a little bit rusty looking right there so i don't know the deal there is um but anyway uh, i can see i think they did some tack welds here on the hangers so the problem with the course is basically if they can just fix these hangers and you know move them just so they can line up better because these hangers kind of you're forced to where these are the stock you know the bolt pattern and they're just hanging crooked and shit. so anyway so yeah, that's a stock exhaust. I was just curious. This is my first time under here um, taking a look at it. And there's the other Corsa muffler. You can see they're they're a lot smaller than my last mufflers and they're super light, but I don't know what course it does, but they sound burbly. Um, here's the H pipe. And again, this. I think they did a good job. I just I mean, maybe you can't get away from this bend being a little... See how the diameter of the tube kind of got smaller? That's my only complaint. But hey, better than I could have did. Oh, and that hanger... <laughs> <sighs> this was my fault. I had a, I cut this to do a short throw shifter. Long story there. And you can see I got the one-piece aluminum drive shaft. Uh, so, alright. Let's get out from under here. Ah, shit. Yeah, maybe. Right. So, this is another thing about about the quick jacks. Um, they go up pretty high, but no standing room. You're going to have to crawl underneath. Hold on, let me crawl under here. Oh. 
be easier to get out that that way probably. <coughs> And I recommend knee pads. All right, you can buy these at your auto parts store because you're gonna be giggity on your knees a lot with the quick jacks. Um, and it's just easier if you have knee pads, you can slide around. And I have a creeper, but I guess I could use that. So anyway, the H-pipe, um, it sounds good. I'm gonna do a sound clip during my lunch break because uh, it's only like, five, six in the morning out here. I'm an early riser. But anyway, here's the, uh, here's the quick jacks again. They, they work pretty good. I got Ford performance lowering springs and you know, I do your brakes and your oil and all that stuff. <sighs> so anyway, is that off you? Yeah. I'm probably gonna watch this back uh, just to look at the workmanship on that X pipe. I mean, H pipe. <laughs> But yeah, you can see a difference because um, you can see this, um, everything's pretty nice and large. And when they did their bends, you know, they got a little bit small. Um, but aside from that, I'm gonna get one more look just for me, hold on. All right. Also this headset I got on, you can get from Amazon or, I forget, but it's, they're called Night Buddies. But they cost more money on the night buddy website. All right, so yeah, <sighs> damn, I am pull on these bars. I think, uh, uh oh, oil there. All right, yeah. So let me see here. So let's see. You got this little thin right here. See right, right here. It starts out large. It goes thin. Now. I don't have like a micrometer or whatever that measurement tool, but I like this. I mean, they just welded a piece, so it's definitely custom. It's not like they slapped the H pipe on. They actually, I guess they must have, they literally made one. So that's kind of cool. All right, let me get out of here again. As you can see, uh, oh, there's the oil stuff and all that. A little muddy under here, believe it or not. I, uh, I, I power washed it under there, but some of that dirt just won't come out. Oh, damn. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a spring chicken anymore. So here's the old, actually not old, this is called a Varix. Um, and I cut it because it's easier, because I kept all the wiring installed. The Varix is kind of a pain, you gotta wire things through your trunk through a controller inside the car, but it opens and closes exhaust valves. And I think this is a really good build quality. And you get to put the tips on yourself. It's called Varix, Australian company, for those of you not in the know. Um, and also very pricey, about as pricey as the Corsa. Um, I like the Varix because I was able to open and close the valves, but a lot of people complained, including myself, because the Varix exhaust you open the valves up, it's like, it sounds a little louder, but you're like, what the hell? It still sounds like stock. And then you close the valves and it just makes it so you can't hear it at all. And I wanted something, and I had the Flowmaster Outlaws in my last Mustang, and that was just so much drone. So of course they got that technology down where you don't really hear any drone, which is nice um, when you're driving. But I'll do a sound clip later. And the and like I said, the whole reason why I got the X-Pipe, it's a different tone than, I mean, the H-Pipe. It's a different tone. Um, it's very burbly. I noticed like the, the mufflers are a lot more burbly now. With the X-Pipe, they popped a little more. They're like pop, 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 for those of you that like pops and the raspiness. Then yeah, you want something like, like this. Um, if you uh, like the deep throaty muscle car sound, um, and uh, burbles and stuff and the H pipe. But I did notice there is a tiny bit of drone now with the H pipe, not much. The X pipe had zero. And the X pipe, it just flows better. And if you're, if you're doing track use, they say, yeah, maybe do stick with the X pipe. But for me, I just drive around town. I like to be cool, stoplight warrior. <laughs> so, and when I go to the Cars and Coffee Sunday, it'll be my first time with the courses. So, you know, cause these guys at Cars and Coffee, they got, 
I'm like, man, it made me want to get an exhaust again. <laughs> so, but you can still hear your supercharger whine because there's not, not much drone. Um, but you can also hear a little bit of the exhaust inside with the H pipe. I, overall, I think the shop did a good job. I just don't like how the bends got a little narrow there. But um, supposedly more back pressure equals more torque. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. And um, oh, in case you're wondering, um, this is my slingshot. It's called a slingshot, made by Polaris. Looks like a Batmobile. Um, I added the roof and stuff, so. And my Mustang Matchbox collection. All right, I, I was gonna add one more thing. How do I lower these? Well, another quick jack demo. You raise them up a little bit first. So I'm gonna raise them up first. Then I'm gonna go over here. You flip this downward. See that? So it makes it so it can go over that hump. And do the same thing to the other side. <sighs> it's downward. Now when you first get these, and, you, and then you gotta be careful too um, of these cords. Hold on. Can't see enough, I gotta turn my head right up. Yeah, usually I try to maybe stick them on top because it's a pain you lower it and then the car lands on top of these cords, hydraulic lines, and then you're like, I gotta raise it back up. And this one seems okay. It's kind of behind there. And then you just push the down button right here and, uh-oh. Got to do that side. <sighs> Alrighty, do this again, guys and gals. Alright, I hope it lowers. There it goes. See it lowering? It's so much easier than jack stands. Now, I'm gonna make sure this is. down the button because they still got a little ways to go but yeah that's all there is to it and now you can move this and just give you an idea what they look like see ah, you get the little rubber stopper here that I I go on a pinch welds you can also use it for the frame ah, and there we go quick jacks I don't have sponsors, so I'm just saying I, I enjoy the quick jacks. <laughs> All right, peace. Okay. okay. So I'm going to do a startup with the H pipe.
take it around the block a little. I can hear a burble already. Let's see. Let me see. with the I did notice it might be mental about the whole extra torque thing but it broke loose a little sooner than usual might just because it's cold out okay you can turn it off